Now, my next guest tonight is a self-taught photographer. He only picked up a camera around six or seven years ago. Uh, his portraits of the likes of Marcus Rashford, Jay-Z and Harry and Meghan have been seen around the world. Misan Harriman is a social activist and the first black man to shoot a cover of British Vogue in the magazine's history. Or well, now, his debut as a film director is being tipped for an Oscar. Hey, it's me. Like, I know you're really busy with work at the moment, but it would mean the world to us if you could be there today. How about I make it worth your while? End of saved messages. Uh, well, that was The After, directed by Misan Harriman, who is with me in the studio now. Misan, it is 18 minutes long. And my word, it was a roller coaster. You pack a lot into that 18 minutes. And as I spoke about in my introduction, you're a social activist. There are so many things you could make your debut film about. Talk to me about why loneliness and grief became your first subject, and healing as well. It's a real journey in those 18 minutes. Yeah, I mean... I don't want to give too much away on the film, but what I would say is that, like probably all of us, I went through the mill mm. in 2020, you know, um, had a newborn at home, COVID came, mm. George Floyd happened, the world went upside down. And in the process of building myself back up, I realised that we've all been through the mill. Mm. So I wanted to make a film to let people know it's OK to not be OK. How does it feel to be talked about in the same breath as the Oscar? You know, awards are wonderful, but, you know, what really makes me proud is when I get texts from young men mm -hmm. and women that have watched the film and know that their story matters mm. and know that it doesn't always tell you where the door is out of the room of darkness, but it lets you know there is a door. Through your social activism, you, you cover so much, whether it be mental health. You came to prominence, really, during Black Lives Matter and your documenting mm. of the protests through your beautiful photography. What is it that you're keen to use your platform to explore? Because, you know, I feel like when we come across your interviews and your social media, you touch on so much. What is it that you're really passionate about and you, you really want to, to put out there? I feel it's my job to make sure humanity never leaves the room. Mm. I'm so proud of all the young people I see in these protests and us oldies, sometimes I think life has gone hold of us mm. and we lose the empathy that makes us special. And my images are not shouty. You decode them in your own voice. Mm. And for many people, it allows them to unlearn and try and build a better future for all. You might be an oldie. I mean, I'm going to count myself amongst that. <laughs> We're the same age. But, um, you know, you didn't take up photography until six, seven years ago and you're, you're self-taught. And I think... Five, yeah, five and a half now. Five and yeah. a half. OK. Oh, he's counting. Yeah, yeah. That's still a short amount of time to pick up a camera and teach yourself the art that enables you to produce images like this. I mean, this is a September issue of Vogue, which, for those in the know, is the issue of the year for Vogue. Mm. How do you go from amateur photographer to this, Misan? It's quite an inspiration in itself. Yeah, well, there's a great Robert Frank quote that goes, the eye must learn to listen uh, before it looks. Mm. And I think I've been obsessed with imagery my whole life. But my wife bought me a camera for my 40th mm. and she believed in me. I was, I'm dyslexic, I failed every exam I ever took, I dropped out of uni, so I was always ashamed of my mind. Mm. And I feel I was given the tool to awaken what makes me different. Well, we're just looking at some of your portraits now. I mean, some famous faces there from the acting world. You, you know, you, you photographed Harrison Ford, um, Stormzy, Jay-Z, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In fact, you produced a famous image for them when they were growing their young family, mm. when Meghan mm. and Harry were going through um, their second pregnancy. Mm. What were they like to work with? Because I know the, the Duchess of Sussex in particular is a big supporter of yours. She mm. hosted a screening yes. of your new film out yeah. in LA recently. Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the pregnancy announcement were taken on an iPad virtually uh, <laughs> during lockdown, uh, because obviously we couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. I couldn't go to California. And it's, you know, she's an old friend and it's just been a great honour to document their love, mm. uh, their fortitude 
and to have her believe in my story as a visual storyteller. It's been just an honour. And you've produced some iconic images uh, for them, and I know that you've travelled with Harry to the Invictus Games. Mm. That's a relationship uh, with Harry that you have through those games. How is imp important is it to you to combine that social activism, the importance of something like the Invictus Games, and your work? How did the two dovetail in, in your I work mean, with the couple? I mean, you know, I don't want to tear up. Invictus, I, I just cried every day because mm. I haven't seen such unfiltered humanity. Mm. You know, these men and women and their families, what they've been through, you're talking about veterans that have lost so much, mm. both um, mental and physical ailments, and to have them um, compete at that level mm. through what the Duke has, has created, mm. it's just photographically, it's amazing, but it's also very inspirational. That's a collaboration with the Duke. What about the Duchess? Because she has signed with an LA agency, and I know that you're now entering into film. She could be coming back into film. Could you, as friends, combine on something in the future, do you think, as a, as a project, perhaps? You know, she has, she's very busy, <laughs> um, and, and we'll see. We'll see what, what fate throws at us. But I, I've been very lucky to, to, to support and also be supported by them. OK, do you think we'll ever see them back in the UK? I have no idea. OK. Well, Misa, thank you so much. Uh, the After is on Netflix. It's garnering great awards, Buzz, and, you know, having watched it, it is... it is a real emotional roller coaster. It's a beautiful piece of work. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck with it, as thank it's only much. just started. Thank you, Misa and Harry Mann there, uh, photographer, social activist and now filmmaker.